Beware! If you just bought a new Nintendo Switch OLED model or any new Nintendo Switch, you might forever lose your Animal Crossing New Horizons Island save data if you're not careful. Because, even though the Nintendo Switch makes it easy to transfer an existing profile and all of its save data from your original system to your sparkling new one, that process doesn't include your Animal Crossing New Horizons Island, as it's tied to the console itself and not your personal profile. So there's actually an additional step that you'll have to take in order to ensure your Animal Crossing Island transfers over too. Now the good news is, as long as you have access to the original Switch, it's probably not too late. But if you do lose access to it or reformat it, then your island might be gone forever. So let's make sure that doesn't happen. And don't worry, you can complete this process at any time, even if you've already moved everything over to your new Nintendo Switch, including your original profile and SD card. So here's what you need to do. First, go to the Nintendo eShop and download the free Animal Crossing New Horizons Island Transfer Tool on both Nintendo Switches. It'll pop up if you do a search for just Animal Crossing. And honestly, you really can't go wrong from here, as the app will walk you through exactly what to do next. But hey, we're not going anywhere, and we'll get you through the entire process even faster. Next, using your old Nintendo Switch, start up that very island transfer tool. Then click continue, OK, and let's begin. Next, designate it as the source system, since it's the console that has the island that you want to move. Following that, click yes when it detects the saved data. Now, despite what the screen may tell you, it's safe to go ahead and click continue to have it start searching for the other system. Now while it's doing that, move over to your new Nintendo Switch and start up the transfer tool on it too. Like before, click continue, OK, and let's begin. Then designate this one as a target console, since it's the one you want to move your island onto. Now click proceed to have it search for the save data from your old Nintendo Switch. It should only take a few seconds, then click proceed one more time. Finally, move back to your old Nintendo Switch, which should have already found the new Switch that's targeting by now. Press continue, and then click the transfer data button to finally make the magic happen. It should only take around a minute or so. And voila! Your Animal Crossing Island is now ready to go on your brand new Nintendo Switch. Now just make sure to transfer over your user profiles too if you haven't already. And we have an entire video for that as well, which you can find in the description below. So if everything worked, then you're all set! Go ahead and close this video and enjoy resuming your island vacation on your brand new Nintendo Switch. Why are you still here? Are you telling me you lost access to your old Nintendo Switch and your island save data? Well, I'm sorry to say then that your island might have gone on its own vacation. Permanently. But you might not be entirely out of luck. At least if you're a Nintendo Switch Online subscriber and enable the island backup feature on your old Nintendo Switch. Because if you did, then there's very likely a backup of your island available that you can download from the cloud onto your new Nintendo Switch. But it's going to require that you contact Nintendo as only they can help you in recovering it. But we can at least still help you up to that point. And as it turns out, there's a trick to restoring your backed up island on a Nintendo Switch without any existing Animal Crossing save data. So here's how you do it. After starting Animal Crossing, you'll need to press and hold the minus button on the first screen that appears, being this one of the white Nintendo logos. If you do it right, it'll initiate the island backup restoration process. But the timing is actually a bit tricky, as you'll actually have to wait a second or two after the Nintendo logos appear before pressing and holding the minus button. If you press it too soon, the game simply won't register it and it'll continue loading the game as normal. So if you see the floating island, then you know it didn't work. So quit the game and try it again. Now once the island restoration screen appears, click begin to be taken to Tom Nook, who will eventually offer to check online for backup data. And this is the part where you're going to need Nintendo's help, as he's not going to find any data unless you've contacted them first, and they've authorized a save data transfer. So we put a link to their contact page in the description below. With any luck, you'll hopefully have your island back safe and sound. If not, we'll have fun getting your brand new island into shape. So there you have it everyone, a complete guide to how to enjoy your Animal Crossing island on your brand new Nintendo Switch. Thanks so much for watching, and of course make sure to click that subscribe button and ring that bell for more on Animal Crossing New Horizons and everything else Nintendo Switch. We'll catch you later. Bye everyone!